Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Today I'm actually going to be launching finally my first uh, space plane. I have been trying, well actually when I do have time I do try to make a space plane, but uh, unsuccessfully so far. But uh, this one managed to get into space like 20 minutes ago. This is my first plane that I ever managed to get into space. So uh, hopefully I'm going to get it there again. I did make a couple of modifications. So... Uh, this is uh, the Marcus A1 Hummingbird, so let's see how this goes. And uh, not very well as my first try. It seems that because I did stick, I had to change this as I do have Let's actually modify that. I do have an RCS tank in the front. So I did have to change that, but... If we have two RCS tanks, then I can keep it where I had it initially, so... There we go, that's where I had it initially. So... Let's give it another go. It seems when you have it angled, it doesn't give such a, such a great downforce, which sort of makes sense. Which does sort of make sense. You notice my tower isn't there anymore. Remember the showcase with uh, one of the rockets? I forgot the name of it. That was pretty cool. So, um, let's give it another go. This should hopefully get it up and going. Okay, there we go. Up we go. Up we go. Look how small you are in relation to everything. Now we got a long way to go. We got actually quite quite a long way to go. We're at 2000. We need to get at least to uh, 30,000 meters and then we will engage our uh, liquid liquid engines. So I'm still not making a tutorial on space planes because uh, I don't really understand them very well. I do I do know a few things here and there, but as mentioned, this is my first one that I actually managed to get into space, so And from the looks of it, this one will pretty much just get into space, and uh, that'll be the end of that. And then I need to refuel it, because it doesn't, it doesn't have enough fuel to do anything else, so... Not the most effective thing in the world, but yeah, it does do its job. Okay, we're nearly there. We want to get to the 12,000 meter mark and then we're going to level off and try to get our speed. We need to get around 1,600 meters per second. That seems to be the ideal. As you noticed, I am leveling off a bit to slow the descent. Uh, as slow the ascent, what descent? We do want to get a lot of speed. And we are picking it up now. The trick is, is to pick up a lot of speed. Remember, you need, do need 2,200 meters per second, yeah? Till you actually break, till you break orbit, till this blue line makes a nice little circle. So, uh, that's the thing. Either you make it using jet engines, or you make it using liquid engines. But, uh, to get your space plane around and into orbit, you need to make 2,200 meters per second. It's simple as that. There's, there's nothing more to it. So, yeah, I'm going down, but I'm going to leave it because I'm picking up speed. I don't really mind losing a couple of meters. And it'll stop soon, hopefully, and start going up. Yep, there we go. Now it's going to start going up. So we are still picking up speed 600 meters per second. We do have the re-entry effect. And I do have my wheels here. Why? Because when I land, I don't know where the hell I'm going to land, but when I land and I retract just the front wheels, I can use uh, 
these wheels to move me around on the ground, so that's pretty cool. Another cool thing to keep in mind is is these. If you stick them in front of your plane, you can actually lift off the runway because you need something in the front to pull the front up. That's why most of the people that take off from the runway, they uh, pretty much uh, have to fly all the way to the end because you have that, I don't know, 30, s 30 inch uh, uh, distance between the actual runway and the ground and that thing pulls you up. But if you, if you want to take off on your own, then stick a couple of controllers in the front. And the cool thing is, of course, with this, it keeps it much more stable. So that's uh, one good thing to know as well. Another good thing to know is uh, to keep the weight distributed. You actually do need your center of mass in uh, in the front in relation to your... Uh, what, the, what the hell was it? Center of... No, not center of thrust, the other one. Because you are consuming fuel from the front, so it does get lighter in the front. So you do want more weight in the front because it sort of does balance out later on so you don't get into a stall. Let's just kill off our uh, climb rate. We're going pretty high. I don't like being at 15,000, 16,000 and not even... We could lose a couple of meters as well. I don't mind. I'm going to 900 meters per second. Let's go down a bit. And 950... slowing down and up we go of course the higher we go the thinner the air so hopefully faster it goes remember we do need a thousand six hundred and with the amount of oxygen we have we should be able to get that there we go up it goes I'm sure there's a lot of more efficient ways of doing this, but as I said, I'm, I'm still new to the whole space plane thing. It is one of the hardest things to do. I can pretty much do anything with a rocket, literally anything. But to get a hang of a space plane is a little bit difficult. There we go. We could straighten it a bit. Decrease the ascent a bit. Why am I decreasing the ascent? Because I don't want to. I don't want to run out of oxygen, so I do want to pick up as much speed as possible. Unfortunately, there's no autopilot to keep it leveled at that exact altitude. That would be a great thing if they could add an autopilot like that. I could lock it in an altitude and just uh, crank up the speed at that altitude. That would be perfect. So so far, 7.4. We have air, so that's pretty good. We're at 1,100, 1,200. So we are doing pretty fine. thousand one I think a thousand four if I'm not mistaken I'm, I might have forgot how much it got the last time so my might be a thousand four hundred now of course the cool thing is to keep uh, hotkeys for your engines and hotkeys for your uh, intakes the intakes cause drag so if you actually close your intakes close intakes it reduces the amount of drag so I have two hotkeys for my engines and my intake so I shut the engines down and then I shut the intakes down. Then you're asking why do I have separate ones? Because sometimes I just want to start and stop just the engines without the intakes. I want to keep the intakes on. So that's why I have that. Let's reduce again our climb a bit. We are picking up nice speed. Plenty of air on our intakes. Of course if you crank more intakes you can uh, get much higher. You know, of the uh, most ideal thing, if you <laughs> if you could get with your space plane to 37,000 meters, because then you're in orbit. But then again, I don't want to sort of cheat in the game. You know what I mean? And just um, don't make it look realistic and stick air intakes just freaking everywhere. Then pretty much I can go up to 180,000 meters or some ridiculous stuff like that that I saw people do. So I do want to try to keep it as realistic as possible and the design-wise as realistic as possible. 1,500. No, I think I could manage to get to 1,600 again. I cranked lower the the ascent. We're at 0 0.2. And we're at 23,000 meters. Okay, we're going to have to get ready. Let's switch on our main engines. Wait 0 0.1. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to shoot all the way up once we're... Okay, now we're going to... 
Switch main off, switch off. And up we go. Up we go, 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 up, 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 up. Now we are losing speed because we're still in the atmosphere, so you g you do need to hold out a bit. Once once we gain the altitude, we are going to start increasing speed because I do have pretty strong engines, so that's fine. We are losing speed because we're we're gaining altitude, but it'll it'll be fine. We just need to get out of this damn atmosphere. So again, there's much easier ways of doing this, of course. You can just put a shitload of air intakes and you're fine. But uh, I like to make it look a little bit realistic. You know, that's why I had problems. I actually, I never tried putting a crap load of air intakes. There we go. Speed is going up, so we are on a good way out of this. This is all manual control, because my SAS doesn't seem to keep it balanced. This is like the dodgy part. It becomes very stable once I reach the 36,000 meters. So, okay. What are we at? 43. That's still not high enough. We want to get it to at least uh, uh, 75. Orbit. You see? Perfect. Now we're in orbit. So I just crank my SAS there. Now my SAS is on. Now I can sort of calm down. There we go. Now let's take a look. 70. That's cool. We cut our engines. Again, you need 2,200, yeah? So, do I have enough fuel? I think I should. Again, not. Not a lot, but I just have enough to get 142 oxidizer to get out of the atmosphere. So, I'll make an orbit and that's it. And then I'll relaunch a small refuel refuel ship and then I'll refuel all my other tanks. Am I, am I out of jet fuel? Yeah, I am. That's pretty funny. So, I'm obviously going to need uh, liquid fuel. What I could do is uh, launch one of my orange tanks up into space. That That should be fine. And uh, one big orange tank should be able to fill this up. Actually, more than enough to fill this up. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Where are we now? We're pretty down. Let's time warp it up. Do do leave your comments down below. I'd, I'd really love to uh, hear more tips in terms of making a uh, space plane. Oxidizer 142 more efficient. What I was thinking, maybe I could do a docking port and then in space I could replace, you know, I, I could have the docking port just for uh, this engine. Meaning, hold on, meaning I could switch my... Uh, we're at 2000 meters per second. This is gonna be a perfect orbit. Very quickly, hopefully. Come on. Before oxidizer runs out, I didn't do it as a as efficiently as before, but there we go. We got our space plane into space, 173 by 143, and we're pretty much out of fuel. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to end uh, this uh, part one of my space plane series and I'll see you guys in part two and I'm going to build a quick refuel station, refuel this and then we'll send it somewhere. See you guys.